<laughs> oh, hello, I'm, I'm Ron Charles. You may know me as one of the most elegant figures in the book world. <coughs> this, this week's book is by a woman named Nora Roberts, who lives in a little town in Western Mar Mom, what? what are you doing up? You need to get some rest. But I've got to tell my viewers about this new book by a woman named Nora Roberts. Nobody needs you to tell them about Nora Roberts. You've heard of her? She's one of the most popular authors in the world. Yes, but think how much it will mean to her career now that I have deigned to review her. Ron, you are delirious. Lie down. Come on. Let's get some rest. No, you've got to listen to me. Her new novel is called Year One. It begins on New Year's Eve when a wealthy American family is vacationing in Scotland. The father, later known as Patient Zero, is out hunting when he shoots a bird whose carcass lands in the center of a cursed circle of stones. Well, that can't be good. When the family flies back to the U.S., they spread a bird flu virus to everyone else on the plane, which is why I always carry a bottle of Purell, because hygiene dies in darkness too. This week, the magical flu virus has killed hundreds of millions of people around the world, and the White House is in chaos. I mean, even, even more chaos. Our heroine is Lana, a chef in New York City. She's recently started dating Max, a handsome writer with magical powers. And the only thing hotter than their sex life is their witchcraft. Yikes! You could use a magical breath mint. As the flu epidemic begins to take down human civilization, fantastical creatures begin to appear, like elves and witches and sorcerers. Oh my! Lana and Max flee into the countryside, where they meet other humans and magical folk, and begin the incredibly tedious process of rebuilding society from the ground up. The following people have kitchen duty this weekend. But somebody's been eating more than their fair share of the Doritos. But hundreds of pages later, things pick up again. An evil creature is out to kill Lana and her unborn baby, who's part Jesus Christ, part Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But this is just volume one. To find out what happens to any of these characters, you'll have to come back for the next book in Nora Roberts' three-part series. But before then, I'll be right back here, if I survive, for the next episode of the Totally Hip Video Book Review.